Okay, I'm on my wife's uh, 2007 BMW 328i, and it's got a rough idle. Uh, got a little bit of a miss sometimes, not all the time. I'm pretty sure I know what the problem is, but I thought this would be a good opportunity to show the smooth running value option that the Autel scanner has. Um, this option is part of the BMW's diagnostic uh, INPA software. It, it, it's what helps you diagnose misfires on these BMWs. And we'll go through it. This is a 2007 BMW 328i. Um, and I'll go through it with the the uh, Autel and we'll kind of take a look. And I'll explain what, at least what I know about how how this determines a misfire or not. It's actually really interesting the way BMW uh, engineered this. Okay, we're here at the screen. Um, I'm going to hit diagnosis, control unit. I'm going to go into drive, the DME is the one we want that's the engine control module um, live data and we're going to select operational smoothness values is what Autel calls that so what we've got is we got each cylinder and we have a numbered value theoretically a perfectly running engine you would see nothing but zeros on every cylinder uh, and what what this number is representing is a uh, variation in crankshaft rotational speed so BMW has programmed the computer to recognize how fast the crankshaft rotates from each fired cylinder so in other words whenever whenever cylinder number one fires however long it takes the cylinder to rotate one complete revolution theoretically every other cylinder should have that same rotational speed and any variation from that you get a value so for instance let's just say cylinder number two was not firing at all you would see a very very high value for two because the computer would know okay well whenever whenever cylinder number one fires it goes around at a certain speed but when cylinder number two is supposed to fire there's nothing there so the only thing that keeps the crankshaft rotating is the uh, inertia from the previous fired piston so it's actually the, the crankshaft is slowly starting to slow down until it gets to the next firing order and that piston fires and uh, starts the the rotation again I hope I explained that right um, so basically you're not really looking what you're, you're not you're not looking at misfires right here you're literally looking at the variation that the crankshaft has compared to the other rotational uh, crankshaft values. Like I said, in a perfect world, every single cylinder would be the exact amount of time to make one revolution until the next piston fires. Um, and, and the the uh, speed of the rotation would be exactly the same obviously based on you know f slight flaws say in injectors uh, ignition patterns uh, you could have gas that's got you know uh, trash in it so even a perfectly even a brand new engine that has absolutely nothing wrong with it that's running at its peak uh, performance you're going to have some slight values here 
you know, you're, you're, which these right here are great looking values. I mean, there's absolutely nothing, nothing wrong. I, I'm not seeing anything wrong with these values right here. Now, what this does not tell you if it's a fuel related issue or an ignition related issue. Uh, you'd have to do some other tests to figure out is it fuel or ignition. And see, it's programmed to where th this is meant to be at, at, at idle. It will not read if it's m much more above idle. Uh, I don't know what that magic number is, but let me rev it up to 1,000 RPM. That's about 800 RPM right there. You see there's absolutely no moving. It just, it just locks down. That's because the computer knows that the engine is above idle. It's not, it's not going to be an accurate test if it's above idle, so it doesn't, even, it doesn't even operate. Once you let it come back down to idle, then you, know, you see the, you see the uh, display again. So this is Autel's um, version of the smoothness test. In INPA, it actually has uh, gra uh, little graphs that go back and forth, and it shows you green, you know, a green band. Uh, if it's green, you're good. If it's in the red, that's out of, you know, it, 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 that's running pretty bad. Um, and I wish, it, it'd be nice if Autel, it doesn't give you the option. I don't know if you can see that, but the, the, uh, the graphing isn't even an option. Neither is this one over here. Which is sad because that this would be a nice. It would be nice to be able to graph all these and, and watch them that way instead of just a numerical number. But they don't give you that option. Um, but this is actually good enough. You know, it's it's showing you um, a, a, a numbered value. Now, about six months ago. Uh, my wife had a, a bad uh, coil pack and we was we was getting about two two and a half uh, on this value and I don't know what this value it's just a, a numbered value I, I don't think it's a percent I, I'm not sure I, I don't know exactly what it is but what it represents as far as units you see that in the units it doesn't even it doesn't show a percent it doesn't show a, a rpm or anything like that um but it, uh, we was we had about a two and a half i can't remember which cylinder it was but I, I ordered a new coil pack put it on and that fixed that problem um i've actually had to put two coil packs on this car over the years that we've had it and it's fixed the, and there were different cylinders um i've actually got a spare coil pack right now you know whenever whenever the next one goes i'll i'll already have one to throw on it they're pretty cheap, very easy to diagnose, especially once you look at this, you see which cylinder um, you got the high value on, you know exactly where to go, which cylinder to, to you know, go to. So, again, this is the Autel. This is an MS906 uh, scanner. All the Maxxis that are going to have this option. Um, but anyway, that's that's the way this works. It's actually measuring variations in the crankshaft speed from cylinder to cylinder, and that's the value that you get. Pretty ingenious engineering, uh, in my opinion, that BMW come up with on that. So anyway, that's about all I got. If if anybody knows anything more about the, the smoothness. Uh, values the BMWs you know please post I, I'd like to learn more about it myself have a good day